I'd like to offer you an outline of the quantum consciousness experience as we've put it forward in the book and as we're taking you on the Living Quantum Consciousness program. This is just a small recap of the different realms of consciousness that we have in the model. So the quantum consciousness experience starts in our present consciousness and who we are in this portal to so much more that we exist in this time and space. I'm Pete, this is my portal, this is my present consciousness in the here and now. It's both the embarkation point, if you like, and also the place of return, forever changed, once we come back from the quantum consciousness experience. Now these are done one-on-one, -on -one, uh, often by our people around the world, but the Living Quantum Consciousness program encapsulates this into a setting where you too, through the meditations, can undertake a process that allows us to drift out into an incredible journey that brings so much more to you. And as you reflect on each of the different realms, more will come to you. So if we look at the present consciousness here at the start, um, when I start to move into my stored consciousness, which might be my present consciousness here in this time and space, and I move into my stored consciousness as I expand my awareness, my stored consciousness contains my past, my present and my future in this timeline. Aspects of me may come forward that are younger than me or older than me, who are um, offering wisdom, looking perhaps to transcend something that they hold. Any of this can happen during our, the course of our journey. But as we move from the present consciousness into the stored consciousness, we surrender time because my past, present and future is all before me. Then as we move from stored consciousness into our alternate consciousness, we know from quantum physics that when we make decisions, we can go in two directions and we can form other realities as we move into those different parts. Now we remain forever entangled with those and we can call on them because we come from the same source. As I move into my alternate consciousness, I may meet versions of me who have taken other paths and have wisdom to share or may want to um, ask something of me in terms of healing or transcending that which they may be holding. So as I move into my alternate consciousness, I surrender space because we're in another reality so at this, stage, at this stage, we have surrendered both time and surrendered space. As we move from the alternate consciousness into parallel consciousness, you may see this as other lifetimes on this planet, we surrender versions of this body. I'm no longer Pete, and I may call to me other aspects of me that exist in other bodies in other times on this planet. Again, with a beautiful exchange of wisdom or a sharing of healing, whatever that may be, but remember, with every one of these interactions that we hold, we have the intention to raise the vibration of both. After the parallel consciousness, we surrender versions of the human body and we move into our, multi, or our interdimensional consciousness. Interdimensional consciousness is where we can express ourselves in a way that may be non-human form or in a different dimension. And we have incredible experiences of people describing different aspects of them that may be in a different type of body. They may be in a, um, a form of light or energy. They may be in the body of a different type of organism on another planet. We've had all of these over the years. So the interdimensional consciousness often comes forward in a way that allows us to experience something that is very different from being human, but helps us to remind us that we are so much more than human. Beautiful experience. So we surrender aspects of the human body. As we move then out into our eternal consciousness, as we surrender all need for the physical form and we simply blend with all there is and we, we become part of everything. We're already part of all there is just by being who we are. But with this, we actually experience it. When you experience that and return to human form, you are forever changed from any of these experiences and with the gradual expansion out through this ever-expanding universe, we discover so much more about ourselves. By the time we're out here, we've surrendered time, we've surrendered space, we've surrendered versions of this body, versions of the human body, any type of body, and we simply rest in the all areas. And we may stay there for just a little while in order to just understand what's happening back here in the present consciousness and seeing it from a different perspective. When we bring that back into our lives, we are forever changed. The 
quantum consciousness experience pulls together a lot of different types of disciplines, out of body um, type work, different theories, different practicalities, again, using the principles of quantum physics as we move them into quantum consciousness. But what it does is it shows you who you really are. And once you know who you really are, beyond this physical form, life will never be the same again. We look forward to the journey with you.